Hi, this is DH Dunn, and I'm here to come on down and ask myself a question. Can I love 10 days on a game show? I'm joined, as always, by our game show host, the Snowy Owlette, Annie. Hello, Annie. Hello. And uh, we are ready to go. We are on Astrid now. Um, this is the wrong save, I think. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I need to make sure. <laughs> uh, we're going to roll with that. We're going to roll with that. Um, you need to actually, label your saves. Actually, I poured my coffee and then did not bring it to this table. I <laughs> left it in the other room. <laughs> All right, Go get on. it. Yeah, I, I'm still going with that intro, though. I like coffee. Yeah, do it. All right, I'm back with my coffee. We're going to make sure we're on the right save this time, which is Astrid. Come on down. 23 hours in. And it wasn't the right save. I was correct. Okay, so we are at the Fire Tower in Mystery Lake. And my memory is I got everything right. Um... But I already have a cooking skillet, so I don't need to harvest, or I don't need to pick the one up that's there. I don't want to harvest it. So let's see. What is our situation? It's been several days. Uh, I don't need three cans. Uh, Clothing-wise, I would say this is kind of crappy, but we're only on day one. Where have we been? We spawned in Forlorn Muskeg, went to Camp HQ and Trapper's. And um, the cabin by the pond. And now we're in uh, the fire tower. Okay. None of those are the correct names. We have 10 matches, so that's good. Oh, I'm starving. <laughs> After starving. I honestly thought that was you, <laughs> babe, going, oh, no. whoa, she's upset. <laughs> what is going on? No, I'm tired. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I know you didn't sleep that great last night. Uh, let's see. Well, we'll drink some water. Now, so the question is, do we want Astrid to sleep here? Or do we want to get her to another location? Um, we could head back to Camp HQ. That's not too bad. She won't get anything new there, though. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to... If you're not going to go somewhere new. Yeah. Uh, weather is not really great pretty it's very cold though holy cow is it cold now i think i actually didn't stay there very long and i'm not too hurt so i think i think i'm gonna try to hit the box cars on the way down and then head to camp hq we're going to get cold anyway, so we're going to take a little damage from being cold. Oh, God. Hang on. This might be changing my decision. No, back up, back up. We're blizzarding. So, let's just head back to the fire tower. We'll ride this out. Never mind. I probably could make it back to Camp HQ, but I don't I don't want to take the damage. Did I check behind here for a pry bar? Damn. Yeah. I'm freezing. Okay, close the door. It doesn't actually matter, but it does make it quieter. Oh, I didn't check this. And there's a bandage in it. I don't remember if I got the first aid question right or not. So we, I'm not we're not take taking it. notes. Yeah, I, I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take it. Yeah, we're not going to take it. Shockingly, in a, in, a, <laughs> in a piece of information that will stun everyone, we have not been taking notes. Okay, we're, we're, having a, we're having a rough time. <laughs> yeah, we're losing we, power or internet. Yep. Did we lose power this week, too? Yeah, we did. That's right. You yes, were out. we lost power. We've lost internet twice. Yeah, and an internet outage feels like a power outage to me. Yes. Um, okay. Well, I guess we're going to hang out here. What is our food situation? We could make some nothing. Because, yeah, we got the flour and we got the oil, but um, we don't have cooking, too, so we can't make pancakes. 
or bannock. You need maple syrup to make pancakes. The game believes that no one would eat pancakes without maple syrup, which just offends me. Yeah, yeah. You literally cannot make pancakes in the game if, if you don't have maple syrup on you. But we can make all this birch bark, which is great. Birch bark tea will heal you. We'll make this reishi. Yeah, I think you might end up starving, Astrid. Let's take a look. Well, you could eat some cattails. That's true. I'm so used to the chef where I can't eat things like cattails. I could eat that potato also. But I really oh, you can? I, well, I can't eat it unless I cook it. Oh, yeah, that's what's good. They won't let you eat the raw potato. Yeah, Which yeah. Apparently, people don't eat raw potatoes. This is nice no. to me, but... No. I guess maybe it'd make you sick or something. Too much starch. Yeah. What's under there? I already opened it. Now, you can, if you work at it, you can get on top of this table. I tried to do this last time, I think. And then you can look up out of the building. <laughs> You can clip through the roof, and you're now, and and you're you are actually over the building too. You can throw a rock up in the air, and you're not getting cold. And it doesn't get you cold. It's pretty funny. I wonder if um, if you had a torch or a flare, if it a torch, if it would go out. It's very silly. It's not, and it is of no real practical use. Wow, like it's most, getting dark. Like most of my skills, yeah. So this blizzard will end during the night, and we'll have to decide do we want to go out during the night to try to get to somewhere more useful. We have the lantern, which I don't really travel outside with because you can't scare wolves off with it, but we'll have the torch. Um, can we make a torch? No. All right, I'll just keep chopping up mushrooms. We're probably going to sleep. We could conceivably just sleep eight hours, actually, considering how dark it is. Do we have enough water to get full on water? Let's see. Astrid's tired. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Top bunk or bottom bunk? What do you think? Bottom. Bottom, okay. Uh, let's go eight. Well, we're fully healed, and uh, it is, we're one day in now. Astrid will be letting us know she's hungry any minute now. Outside, the weather outside is green. <laughs> it's very green out. Uh, it's very cold, triple down on the temperature. I don't really want or need to go out yet, so we're just going to stay here. Astrid's doing her lip smack that she does when she's at 75% uh, thirsty. We could make a fire. And make some water, because we're going to need it. But then I'd want to keep the fire going. We do have a decent amount of fuel, so yeah, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. Oh, I forgot we had the fire striker. Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. Uh, yeah, sure. So, might be a bit before there's some game show activity. Come on, little Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. But I want to keep Fine. Astrid alive. It's my primary responsibility. Okay, so let's see. Do, do, do. Um, don't want to use the coal. I'm never going to use this book. That's 50. Um, there we go. Two hours. Make me two hours of water. Make me one hour of water. Put the torch out. Come over here. Break this little bench down. 
Okay. Uh, 30 minutes there. How about this bench? How long would that take? Needs a hatchet. Astrid is hungry. 45 minutes on this one. There we go. We got some water ready. Let's make some tea. Oh, let's make the potato. Potato takes almost an hour, 48 minutes. We need to put more on the fire if we're going to do that, but that's why we got all this wood. Yeah, make the potato. Starving. Yes, Astrid, I'm making a freaking potato, okay? And some birch bark. Okay, that's done. That's done. We're going to eat that. Take that. Give me... Oh, uh, I want to put a little bit more time into the fire. And pull some torches. She's going to complain about <laughs> being hungry again. <laughs> she is. Oh, did I not eat the potato? I don't know. It didn't give... Didn't give do mind. much, did it? Jeepers, eat the soup then. I saw that snow outside. I'm not happy about that. There you go. And a drink. All right, we are out of here. Whether or not. Can't stay any longer. Can't stand it. That's the morning, morning music track. All right, we are not going back to Camp HQ. We are going to go to new areas. So that we can get some questions in here. It's supposed to be on a game show, Astrid. <laughs> I have found the, the, not surprisingly, I have found the 80s questions and the 90s questions to mostly I can get them. The 2000s, much more questionable, and the 2010s scare the hell out of me. I apparently stopped paying attention to, to everything. Although I did get the... The guy who wears the hat with the three. Mm. Who was that? I Chance, thought you didn't get Chance that. Chance the Rapper. Chance. No, I yeah. got that right. Uh oh, that's right. Because I, I am a huge oh, Chance yeah. the Rapper fan. Yeah. Or I just guessed three. I, to be honest, the reason I guessed three is because I thought oh, of I Dale Earnhardt Jr. was number three, and I don't know why that uh, made me Oh, yeah, three. I thought you just guessed. Oh, yeah. I totally guessed. Yeah. Now, how the hell did I get lost? Wait a minute. What? You weren't paying attention. Oh, I know where I You're went. Okay, since we're going this way anyway, we're going to check the plane. Um, Astrid, walk forward, please. Thank you. Thank you. Keep moving. Woman, pick up your foot. All right. Depending on if I want something, I'll have to answer a question to take it. Uh, will I want those gloves? Maybe. I think. I think I probably do. What do you know? Looks like I survived another night. Wait, hey! I was trying to pick up those gloves. You're supposed to answer a question, aren't you? Well, I wanted to get the cursor on them. I wanted to look at their condition. Oh, okay. All right, I will take a clothing question, please. All right. 2000s question. Here you go. Okay. What 2000 movie did the true story of a single mom played by Julia Roberts who exposed one of the worst environmental crimes in history? Oh, um, uh, Aaron Brockovich? Very good. Hey, wow, right. nice. Yeah, I didn't think I'd know that one. Oh no, my torch is gonna go out. Damn it. Oh well. Alright, we're out of this stupid place. Dumb plane. Alright, boxcars. I 
And then the yellow oh, thing. Sure getting cold. Careful there, Astrid. Do you have a tea? It's cold now. Any jerks? Where's the jerk patrol? Ah, jerk-free environment. Nice. All right, there's sure to be something exciting in here. Wait, I'm so cold. I'm what? Up a bit. <laughs> what a bunch of bullshit! <laughs> what a bunch of bullshit! Come on. All right. Fair enough. Well, she doesn't have a lot of warm clothing on, does she? No, she gets cold super fast. Alright. We're gonna head for the yellow thing. Ooh, I have a flare. That's nice. We can make a fire in this little train car up here. I don't see any wolves. So I feel like when we get to the dam, I have to answer four questions for the top half of the dam and then four questions for the bottom half of the dam. Because otherwise it's just, it covers too much. Sure. Book. Are you serious? There's not even anything worth asking a question over here. No food. No. Okay, triple trailers. Can you eat trees? Astrid's hungry. When we are done recording, I have to reset bingo. We did bingo last night, which was very fun. But I want to have, uh, we did it on Twitch with Long Dark. I want to have uh, bingo for um, uh, the stuff that Astrid says. I want to have a whole. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know, whenever she says things, silly things. This weather sucks. I hear you, woodpecker. I haven't heard many woodpeckers near us lately. We usually, we have a ton of them that are around here. Are they usually around this time of year? Maybe they don't do their pecking this time of year. Or maybe they're not around this time of year. Okay, I'm going to need four questions, but I might want to warm up here at the stove first. I think I do, because I sense another blizzard coming. We do have coal. This way, since I have to answer questions, little fire. three qu uh, the the three sets of questions to go through these three trailers, I'm gonna be outside quite a bit, so I want to get warmed up first. Throw coal in there. Give me that, and a stick. Okay, you can extinguish that. Come on, hurry up and get warm. The birch bark. That's good. That's good. Let's put those out. Okay. Take some water here. Astrid's hungry. You can eat cattails. Yeah, that's what you can eat. That's literally all we have. The 
There is a decent source of cattails not far from here, so we can get more if we need them. Hoping to find something in the trailers. As long as I get those questions right. Okay. Um, that's good. We will drink the tea. All right. I am ready for a set of questions. All right, here's your 80s question, fire and tools. Okay. Uh, what actor who learned to drive a powerboat for Miami Vice was world offshore powerboat champion in 1988? Don Johnson? Yep. Chuck Norris beat him for the title in 1990. No, oh, wow. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, 90s food and drink. What hip sketch comedy show premiered on Fox in 1990, including the Wayan siblings, comedian Jim Carrey, and the dancing fly girl? In Living Color. Yep. And 2000s for clothing. What side order item got a new name on the menus in the congressional cafeterias of D.C. when France did not support the Iraq War in 2003? French fries were renamed into Freedom Fries. Yep. And to 2010 First Aid, what film inspired code name did investigators use for the college admissions bribery scandal that became public in 2019? Oh, um. Oh, I mean, it's going to be something gay. Admissions gate? Operation Varsity Blues. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I got that wrong. But I got fire and tools, food and drink, and clothing correct. Yes. All right. Those are the good ones to get. So, of course, I see a first aid box right away. I won't even bother opening it. going to be nothing in here. <laughs> oh my god. There's this. And whatever's in that box. The first aid box. That wow. is it. That's interloper for you. Interloper is not generous with the loot. Now I want to know what was in here. Well, this stuff will come Antibiotics handy. and it's so good. Oh, I'm so mad. All right, uh, was, go get another hot tea, please, and then we'll answer more questions. There's no chance I'll forget that pot and skillet. There's zero chance. Okay, I am ready. You ready? Yep. Here's your 80s question. What killed the radio star according to the Buggles? Video. Yep. All right. Uh, let's see. It was released in 79, but rose to fame in 81. Mm. Video killed the radio star. Yeah. It's the first right. video on MTV. Here's your 90s question. What mm -hmm. computer programming language, which sounds more like a barista's concoction, was invented in 1995? Ooh. There's a couple options here. 1995. Oh, Java. Sounds more... Java. Java. Yeah. yeah. There you go. The development team did not want a techie name, but they loved coffee. <laughs> <laughs> cool. 2000s question. On what planet did NASA's Odyssey spacecraft find enough water and ice form below its surface to fill Lake Michigan twice in 2002? Mars? Yep. And here is your 2010 first aid question. Which Yosemite peak did Alex... Honald Reach without ropes in 2017, an incredible feat captured in the documentary Free Solo. Uh, El Capitan? 
Yep. All right. He was the first to complete this climb rope free. Free climbed El Capitan. That's amazing. Wow. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm not going to get I'm not going to get a mountaineering question wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're free and clear. Here's here's a dead guy. Despite the fact that he is clearly wearing a jacket, yes. pants, boots, I can't have any of it. I am taking the spray paint. Um, wait, what was that? Nothing. Man, it's such a such a drag when you crush it on the questions, and then you don't I get know. anything. It's teasing you. Your prize is nothing. Absolutely nothing. Did I check this? Yes. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Okay, I don't usually do this, but I'm doing this just for fun. Searched. There we know I've been in that one. And I already did this one. Get another tea, unless the fire went out. Oh, rose hips. Let's throw uh, some more fuel in here. Make me a reishi. I will grab those rose hips. Looks like the weather got a little better. Disoriented. There we go. Yeah, the wind has mostly stopped. All right, ready again. More questions? Yep. Wow. All this, right, you ready? The triple trailers. There's three. Okay. All right, I'm ready. Here we go. What English musical theater composer wrote the music for Cats, Starlight Express, and The Phantom of the Opera? Um, Andrew Lloyd Webber. There you go. That's your 80s. Uh, let's see. This is 90s. In what Canadian city was Game 3 of the 1992 World Series played, the first series game played outside of the United States? Toronto. Very good. And here's 2000s for clothing. In 2004, what country was the first to ban all cigarette smoking in the workplace, including in pubs and restaurants? What year? No. What country? In 2004. In 2004. I'll say New Zealand. Nope. Ireland. Okay. All right. No clothing. So there's 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 boots or something in there. Yeah, there'll be something in there. And this is to 2010. Uh, what soccer player won the Golden Ball Award after the 2014 World Cup, even though his team lost in the final to Germany 1-0? I don't know many soccer players. David yeah. Beckham. No. Who was it? It's uh, Lionel Messi. Oh, Messi. I, no I actually do know that guy. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so we got two out of four. We got fire and tools and food and drink. I think I can use Okay, this. we can eat the candy bar because uh, we got that right. I'm going to freaking lose it if I find some clothing in here, though. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know whether to be mad or not. <laughs> There's nothing in this one either. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. All right. Wait, so they, they had... They had it or not? No, there's nothing in here. Oh, okay. Nothing. All right. Moving on. Get going while the going's good. We'll grab our pot and our skillet. One nice thing about going in and out of all those buildings is I got a lot of saves there. 
Uh, I will drink this birch bark. And I'll take this one. Grab this. Grab this. Take a couple torturinos. And we're going to head down to the dam. Then I think we're going to head to coastal. I'm going to say forget. Like, we're going to head near the dam. But we're not going to go in the dam. Oh, crap. I want to head to coastal instead. All right. Off we go. Uh, am I going the right way? Yes. I feel like Coastal is better for game show. There's just way more buildings there. More fun stuff to answer. Plus, we get to get Annie's reaction to the journey that you take to get to Coastal, which is quite visually striking. That is, of course, unless we die. If we die, then none of that will happen. Still looking for jerks. There should at least be Scoopy up by the bridge here. I will check the trailers by the bridge. So that is going to be another two set of questions. We might sleep there and head uh, head for Coastal in the morning. Kind of depends. I will check on recording time here in a few minutes. I should have like the timer or something like outside my computer. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, I just alt-tab, and I look at OBS and see how long it's been recording. But I should just have, like, a timer running somewhere so that I just know. All right, get off my back, Scoopy. Looking pretty good here. Let's drink that other tea. Stay nice and toasty. Give the torch a yeet. In my opinion, one of the top three most dangerous wolves is the wolf that hangs around right here. There's a lot of places he can be where you don't see him. He does not turn... Nope, there he is. Alright, uh, how do I get rid of you? I need to know where you are first. What if... What if he's behind you? He's right there. Okay, okay come here. Oh no, fire. Alright. I'm gonna crouch here, and hopefully he won't see me, and I'll take some questions. Alright, you ready? I am ready. Okay, here's your 80s question. What software launched in 1983 triumphed over WordPerfect and WordStar to become the most popular word processing program ever? Uh, Microsoft Word. Yes. And 1980, I mean, sorry, 1990s question. What 16-year-old superstar to be became the youngest player ever to tee off in a PGA tournament in 1992 at the Nissan Los Angeles Open? Tiger Woods? Yep. And 2000s, what two-tone treat changed its slogan from America's favorite cookie to Milk's favorite cookie in 2004? Uh, Oreo. Yep, that's your clothing question. Good yeah. job. And here's 2010 for first aid. Uh, what kind of animal is April, the internet sensation who gave birth live on YouTube from a New York zoo in 2017? Uh, tiger. Giraffe. Three out of four.
Come on. Damn it. Okay, we got food though, right? Yeah. The only yep. one we didn't get was first aid. Yep. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> Give me something. Please. <laughs> Well, you still have your gloves that you got. You yeah. haven't put them on. Oh, well, I wanted them. Um, why did I want them? They're not better than what I'm wearing. I wanted them for okay. the leather so that I could repair my shoes. Okay. All right, now we got to deal with Scoopy again. I might be able to sneak over to the other trailer without him seeing me. All right, I am ready for questions. Okay, here's your 80s question. What 86 fundraising event combated world hunger involved, it involved a human chain of 6.5 million people stretching from New York to California? Uh, hands across America. Nice. Here's your 90s question for food and drink. What 90s teen star titled his 2007 memoir, Out of Sync. The one who was in sync? Justin Timberlake? Nope. Damn Clean it. Bass. Damn, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I hate these boy band people. Sorry. Here's 2000s. On what planet did NASA's Odyssey space... Oh, wait. I think I did that one already. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Um, what European team did David Beckham leave in 2007 after signing a five-year, $250 million deal to play for the Los Angeles Galaxy? Manchester United. Real Madrid. Okay. Literally the only overseas football team I know. Yeah. 2010. First date. Now you have to get this one right. Y Europe people, please don't hate me for that. I'm sorry. I'm just not exposed to it. What social app introduced an AR filter in the summer of 2017 that features a dancing hot dog? Oh, I love the dancing hot dog. Uh, uh when? 2017? Yes. Instagram? Nope, Snapchat. <laughs> okay, so well, we got fire and tools and food and drink, right? No. What did we get right on that? Um, that's a good question. Oh, no. We I'll figure it out. Okay. You 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 did not get clothing. No. You did not get 2010. No. I think I you got the not. 90s one wrong too. You only got fire and tools. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what I thought. I thought I only got fire and tools. Fire. That sucks. <laughs> oh, calm down, Astrid. Well, there wasn't anything in here anyway, so who cares? Yep. Oh, there was a book. Well, technically, you can take that. Technically, uh, for me, that's fire and tools. There's these there's beef yeah. jerky. Oh, uh, you missed out on food. Okay, so here's the situation. Um, we need to sleep, but I need to check recording time real quick. Okay. Um, we're right up where I would want to end the episode. So I think we will record again tomorrow and we'll get to Coastal Highway. So I think I'm going to call this one here and I will sleep an hour to get the save. And we'll take a look at where we're at. But I like I like our plans for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to do Ravine and Coastal Highway and that'll be very fun. Um, let's see. So we're almost at day two. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> we got these gloves today. That's kind of exciting. Uh, you know what? We didn't die. We didn't nope. starve. We didn't get attacked. So, we got those things going for us. Um, and, uh, as always, I want to thank, uh, the lovely Annie for hanging out with me and oh. answering me questions. I honestly yep. thought that was you yawning. Uh, oh, that's... I could be. I'm tired. But, <laughs> yes, um... I wanted to say that we will be getting back to my run, yes. but we lost power during 
the episode. And, yes. And we haven't been able to get back to it. So. No. So we will get back to that. But yes, yes, we will get back to Annie's run. And we have lots of other ideas that we are working yes. on. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. But um, that is going to do it for this one. If you've liked this series and you could do the like, the comment, the subscribe, really, really appreciate it. It helps us out a lot. Um, that'll do it for this. We'll be back tomorrow with more Adventures in the Long Dark. Until then, stay safe. Take care of each other. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.